folks. Just another mudroom rant. Thanks, Ray. You really got me going on this one. Uh, well, we'll start off with uh, Orlando. Now, if you give food to homeless people, you can be arrested. But right now, my biggest bullshit is this. I uh, sent off a letter to one of our state representatives, uh, Charlie Bass. And uh, it was pertaining to uh, uh, labeling of foods if they are genetically modified to please indicate so. We have farmers here in New England that uh, take an oath that no, that they don't give their cow steroids for the milk if they don't take the pledge and you know that company takes it well you know you don't use that company plain and simple but you don't know about it on your grocery stores in your grocery stores on the shelf and since everything has to be labeled as to this that and the other thing government's own specs I expect it to be labeled if it's genetically modified. Thank you for contacting me regarding HR 5577, the Genetically Engineered Food Right to Know Act. I appreciate you taking the time to inform me of your thoughts on this issue. Yeah, da, 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 da. I agree con that consumers should have the right to know that they are per uh, what that they are purchasing and consuming safe quality food the regulation of our food system is based on sound science from the Food and Drug Administration and the US Department of Agriculture both of which have the resources and expertise to make informed decisions about the safety and integrity of our food supply In 2009, the FDA released a final report of guidance for industry on the regulation of genetically engineered animals. The report says that labeling of food from GE animals would be subject to the same requirements as food, food from non-GE animals, and that as with food from GE plants, the fact that the animal from which food was obtained was genetically engineered would not be material information with respect to labeling. However, if it has a different nutritional profile in general, that difference would be material information that would have to be revealed in labeling. In other words, they're not going to say that it's genetically modified, but the nutritional value may be a little lower or off on this, that, and the other thing. But you don't need to know that. It just, you know, just know what your nutritional value should be for each and every fucking food that you buy, you fucking morons. I recognize your concern regarding the label of food, labeling of food. Oh, you fucking don't because you're going to go right along with every other one of these other moronic fucking politicians that want to just big business. Boom. That's where the money is. Fuck the peons. They'll live with it. Sorry, folks. Just went off a little. But, hey, that's what YouTube's for. Peace out.